Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to my another video on this hair transplant channel, which is all about stopping our hair loss, getting our hair back and hair transplant. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe right now so you won't miss any similar videos like this one in the future. Protein powder, protein shake protein shakes, better said, causing hair loss. Is it true or not? By the way, this is just for the demonstration reasons. I don't use any protein powders. I stopped using them, not for hair loss reasons, for other reasons that I may talk about in the next video. If you are interested in that, comment below. We're gonna talk about whether protein powders do or do not cause hair loss. To be able to answer this question as best as possible, we have to go all the way back to the root of the whey protein. And the root of the protein is one animal, which does. It's a cow, ladies and gentlemen. We have to understand and know how whey is being produced, okay? Cow produces milk. The milk is being transported in a big tanks. Tons of milk comes to a factory. In the factory, the cheese is being produced out of this milk and the curds as well. Next to the cheese and curds, which are being produced, there is a byproduct. There is a liquid where it's gonna be dried, dried out into a powder. This is our whey protein. Now that we know how whey protein is being produced, are there any proofs that milk can actually cause hair loss? I personally didn't found any of such studies, any of such proofs. This is the question now. Is drinking several liters of milk on a daily basis gonna cause hair loss? This is the question that we have to ask. If the answer is no, then whey proteins actually should not cause hair loss. But why there are actually some proteins that are causing hair loss? Because it is true, some proteins do cause hair loss. Uh, let me explain. So there is the whey made of milk. So let's assume the milk is okay and the filtering of the milk doesn't do any harm to the whey. But there are some companies who add a lot of hormones and creatine into the protein powder. Only two things that you need to pay attention to. First the creatine, first some added hormones. Because guess what? Protein powder on its own it's not gonna do anything to your body in terms of increasing your testosterone, as many people think. There's no way that whey protein can increase your testosterone drastically, that it can negatively affect your hair loss. This is not testo booster, this is not synthetic testosterone, just milk in powder. You know that milk in powder for babies, that's how I see whey protein. I see no difference between I see the difference in processing of the whey protein in comparison to the milk in powder for babies, but essentially it's the same, guys. There's no way it increases your testosterone. The only thing that makes it increase your testosterone are those added growth-like substances, growth-like factors and hormones and creatine or special magic blend that you can see on some labels. All right, guys, let's now check out some good and bad examples of whey proteins on Amazon. This one is by Body Fortress. I'm checking out the label as you can see right there. There we go. We have creatine monohydrate there. It's not a lot, it's just 1.5 grams per serving, but it is there. So pay attention to this one. Now we have plant based protein powder. Mm, let's check out this one. I actually didn't find any creatine, any added hormones or substances that could potentially cause hair loss. Only organic stuff or even the organic muscle recovery blend consists only out of turmeric, blueberry, organic goji berry and stuff like that. So all safe guys. Now we have the Hydro Whey Protein by Golden Whey Standard Optimal Nutrition. Ingredients, there are a lot of ingredients but no 
dangerous ingredients besides all the all the sweet sweeteners and stuff which is also not so good in my opinion but yeah no dangerous stuff in there now we have nitrotech whey protein or hydrolyzed whey protein uh, there you go I found creatine monohydrate also as a substance within this scientifically studied muscle builder and we actually know and I was talking about this in the video here check it out I think it's gonna be left where I was talking about about, about creatine actually increasing your testosterone increasing DHT and all the guys like me who are predisposed to baldness can suffer from more hair loss after taking creatine after taking protein powders which contain this creatine so you also have to read the labels you also have to pay attention to what your protein product contains so what about if you are unsure you are now unsure about which protein should I choose Matt which one won't cause hair loss even though if the label is okay we heard about those scandals you know there's so many scandals even the best brands I don't want to mention them and that's why I actually stopped using whey protein and I replaced it basically with with normal food with eggs with some cheese with lean meats with fish and I'm good you know I can still build muscle and I can also build my hair because your hair is made of protein keratin and the more healthy high quality protein you eat the more keratin your body will able to produce and therefore the more the healthier the stronger hair you will have okay so this is what I would advise you if you're not sure if you see okay there is no creatine added there is no hormones added still you're unsure should I take whey or not you can try it out after one two months if the hair loss won't kick in if your current hair loss won't start progressing like too much since you started using it then keep using it you know it's convenient it's protein you know it's good actually it has the amino acids which are needed by your body you know it's it's good thing but if you are unsure or if you notice that a particular protein powder protein shake made you lose hair then just stop it and replace it with real food real protein again besides that all those foods that I just mentioned are also rich in vitamin D also rich in B, B vitamins they're also rich in collagen and iron for example I eat poultry I eat turkey every single day almost because it's rich in all those things it's very rich in iron which actually transport oxygen into your hair follicle so don't forget to eat enough foods or check out the foods which are rich in iron very important thing many people are deficient in iron as well I would much rather replace the whey protein by the real foods so this is my end answer guys there is no clear answer to which whey protein does doesn't cause hair loss we cannot really say it for because we don't know from which supplier the milk comes if you read the label on your whey protein there's so many variable variables you don't know from in which factory was it manufactured how was it manufactured how was it processed where did the milk come from we don't know all those details there are so many things that can just uh, alter the quality of the milk which is the base product of our whey protein and we also don't really know if there were any added ingredients like creatine like any added hormones to our whey protein and if they weren't added because we read the labels still we know the scams we know the scandals that there can be some products that they are not listed on the label because we don't have a lot of information it makes it kind of you know what if that's why my opinion is I would not use any whey protein if I know that I'm already experienced hair loss or I'm the guy who is predisposed to hair loss I would stay away from whey proteins and I would much rather eat or get my proteins from the real food I hope 
I explained it well to you and you got some value out of this video, let me know how your experience was. Have you experienced any hair loss after using whey protein and how bad was it? Or did you not experience any hair loss? Quality matters, guys. When it comes to hair transplant, don't go with bad quality because you may regret it. Uh, at the end. So all of you guys who are interested in hair transplant, make sure you subscribe to my email list right here. And if you are new to this channel, you're like, whoa, whoa, what is that? You are talking about whey proteins. I didn't know that you got a hair transplant. So yeah, I got a hair transplant and there is a link in the description which you can click and you will get my free ebook, which is about five things I wish I've done differently by my first hair transplant and things that you can learn from my mistakes. Download my free ebook and that was Matt and I think we are done here. So see you in the next video.